What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over some dribbling drills that you can do at home to improve your ball handling. Let's get started. All right guys, well, like I said, we're gonna go over some dribbling drills that you can do while you're at home to improve your ball handling. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join Think Pro Basketball and all the great content that we release every single week. All right, so you're at home, you're in your neighborhood, what can you do to improve your ball handling? Well, one thing that I like to do growing up, if you're always having a ball in your hand while you're walking down the street, is simply just working on between the legs dribbling. Right, so if I'm walking down the street or I'm walking down my driveway, it's just this, you know, just around the neighborhood to just get comfortable having that ball in your hands, working on the rhythm, working on keeping that ball on your fingertips and that control of the basketball. Again, you're just walking around, maybe you're walking down the street to a friend's house and you're just working on your handle, right? It's never a bad time, unless you're in class, to dribble the basketball. If you have a ball with you and you're walking, around your house, around the neighborhood, in the gym, work on your handle, get comfortable with it. So when you get actually onto the floor and you start your workout, you've really already loosened up your handle. So now when you go into more complex stuff, you're ready to go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is just a walking between the legs ball hand like you just saw, where you're just solely concentrated on controlling that ball, getting that rhythm, and making sure your handle is tight. All right, so check it out in full speed. All right, Hooper, so you just saw the walking between the legs drill, right, when you're walking around your neighborhood. Now, if you wanna get a little more creative, more fancy, and work on combinations, I like to call this drill walking combos, right? So it's the same type of concept where you're just walking, you know, really working on the control of the basketball, but now you're doing a combination dribble, right? So you can choose any type of combination you want while you're walking again down the street to a friend's house, around your neighborhood, whatever it may be while you have the ball in your hands. Now, when I like to do this drill, I like to make sure that it's repetitive. It keeps going as I'm walking. I don't have to do the combination dribble, stop, and then go into it. I can continue to do it over and over. So it might be something like a crossover between behind, crossover between behind, crossover between behind, crossover between behind, over and over as I'm walking. Right now, as you're doing this, you're adding a variety of moves, right? With the one I just showed you, you have a crossover move where you've got to snap that ball over, cross, quickly, get that ball through your legs, right? You're working on that plant foot from shifting your weight from one foot to the other. Now you're evening yourself up to a behind the back, right? So you got a quick cross, hard step between, behind. That's a great combination move to use while doing a walking combo because you're getting three different moves into one drill. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now in the walking combos, crossover between, behind. Have a look in full speed. All right, Hoopers, in this next drill, again, you're at home, around the neighborhood, walking around, trying to get some ball handling in on your street. I like to do some zigzag dribbling. So it's similar to what we first did when we were doing walking between the legs, but now we're going in the zigzag formation. All right, so as you're walking down the street doing whatever you gotta do, just take one or two dribbles, one direction, between the legs. <sighs> Boom because now what this is working on is your just quick change of direction in a tight little space, right? So if I'm taking that one dribble, boom, now I'm planting to go this way. One dribble, now I'm planting to go this way, 
So it's just working on the speed of being able to get out of those quick turns. So now when you take that next dribble, it's fast and it's quick, right? You're trying to work on the speed of that while staying in control of the basketball, right? So this is also a great drill that you can use to improve your ball handling at home. Again, I like to call this zigzag dribbling. Have a look in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. Three drills that you can do at home to improve your ball handling. Anytime you're walking around your neighborhood and you got your ball, work on your dribbling. Now, until I see you again next time, there's a few things I need you to do before I let you go. Click the like button if you liked today's video, you learned a little bit. Let us know what your favorite drill was by leaving a comment or suggestion for any other type of videos you wanna see down the road in the future. The last step I need you to do is to hit the subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball to check out all the great content that we release every single week designed to help you take your game to the next level. Now get out there, hit the neighborhood, walk around, go to your friend's house, work on your ball handling on your way there. But most importantly, remember to always keep hooping.